Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a Road Trek Zion Slumber. Let's take a walk around. There's a floorboard that slides out when you open the passenger side. And one that slides out when you open the slider door. That's really neat. This looks like a side step, but I'm not sure if it, it, it look, oh, there's the um, propane and the propane tank. And it looks like there's a little connector for an outdoor grill. A window there, another one over here, awning on top. Your water fill is right there. 5,000 pound tow hitch. And it looks like the place to connect to the tow hitch is right beside it. This would be your electric plug-in area. Let's take a look at this. Oh wow, an outdoor shower. That's pretty nice, hot and cold. A little flimsy with the locks. Tankless water heater. Okay, this pulls down. Um, I'm assuming this is your gray and black water areas, and I'm assuming the hose, sewer hose, would be located in there. Okay, so this is where you'd fill up your gas, and opening the driver door, you have another step board that slides right on out. This is the price that they're listing it at. This particular unit is the pop-up version, and it looks like it has blind spot monitoring. Let's take a look inside. First impressions, a little dark, but I like the lighter accents going on in here. Let's start with the kitchen. They've added this little extra counter top on the side of the kitchen counter electric outlet, USB, 12 volt. All right, so we've got two covers here. Let's check these out. So this one is the sink. And the one right next to it is a two burner cooktop. So not a lot of counter space, but at least they're both covered. So that gives you some more space, plus the board on the side. Above the cooktop, there's a microwave. And it's your average size for a B-class RV. It does not appear to be a convection microwave. Let's check out the counter. So they've added some outlets right here. That's a lot of storage space right under the sink. You've got three shelves. A nice drawer and a cabinet underneath with three shelves. Moving along. Okay, you've got a pretty good sized wardrobe, a nice hanging rod, and it is removable. Check that out. 
and four cute little pillows come with it. Now these doors are pretty secure. They're the push button knobs. That's cute. All right, above you have your outlets and cable and that looked pretty deep. Let's check out the next one. Yeah, these um, cabinets are pretty deep. So it gives you lots of storage space. There's not one in the back. It does look like there's a netting for the rear doors back here. Another cabinet. And yet another one. This bed looks pretty large and I love the white leather. It's really nice. Um, it looks like they're electronic, so you would extend the sofa bed out by pushing the top button and retract it by pushing the bottom one. It looks like it would be pretty roomy. There's a TV right here, so you can lay down and watch TV comfortably. Some push lights. Nice blinds. Oh, and look, and this side you have a nice big screen. That is a big window screen. Ooh, that's a nice window. So this is the ladder to access your pop-up area. There's a 12 volt back here. On the other side, again, you have your windows, your nice big windows with the nice big screen. Two windows, well, two windows on this side and one window on the passenger side. That is a big freezer. Wow, that is a pretty big freezer underneath. That's a pretty big fridge. Nice big storage areas. Little bins. You could get a lot of food in there. On the side of that, a pull-out storage area. You can use it as your kitchen pantry. Oh, this is a big drawer. So far, I'm seeing lots of storage in this RV. So I'm assuming these are the bathroom doors. There's a mirror on each door. And these are the handles. And you can even hang a little towel here if you wanted to. Let's check out the bathroom. Okay, it's not too big, but it's really not all that bad. It looks like to be comfortable showering, you'd have to because the sink doesn't flip up, you'd probably have to maybe sit on the toilet <laughs> to shower, but um, it's, it's actually not too bad, but it could have been better. It doesn't appear that the shower head has a stop on off, stop the water button. So something to keep in mind. And the shower seems to be connected to the sink. So I'm assuming you'd have to lift this up or push it down to activate the shower water or the sink water. There is a nice big mirror here above the sink. There's no vanity in here though. There is this little shelving area, which works. You have your shower curtain. Okay. So this is the pop top area. And if you're not using it, it's a nice sunroof. So this appears to be your standard Dodge cockpit area. The radio doesn't seem to be the upgraded version. It's actually the first time I'm seeing one of those. Wow, the seats are really comfy. I love these seats. They're really nice. And as an added 
touch, they've actually embossed or um, engraved road track into the headrest. Okay, so you have, okay, so there's no vanity mirror. There is this little shelving area up here, some push lights, and right above the driver's seat is the fuse box. Okay. And there's some nice storage above both of the seats. This looks like the electronic control center. And there's a push light. So it looks like there's a roll down screen, not the sliding door that I prefer, but at least it's something. This is something I haven't seen in any other B-Class RV yet, the stainless steel backsplash. That's a nice touch. So overall, I feel pretty comfortable in this RV. It's pretty spacious. The wood is a little dark, but like I said earlier, the white or lighter accents really help to make it a little more bright in here. I loved that the freezer was big for an RV of this size and the refrigerator was quite big too. Lots of storage space. The bathroom did seem a bit small, but it, it's something I could possibly overlook. Here's a quick look at what a different setup with a different color scheme looks like. This one has a medium wood and the bed is set up differently. It's got the bench seating across the back so you can't access the rear doors from the interior and it's got two seats on the side. Just another option if you're interested. Thank you for joining me on this RV tour today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and join me on future walkthroughs. Bye for now. Bye-bye.